What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. As you can see, down here at the Gold Coast again, and this has been the weather all week. It's been raining, so haven't been able to film much, but I do have a crab pot in it at the moment. Haven't checked it yet. I put a whole chook in it last night, so we'll check it now and hopefully it's got something. Surely. Oh, wow. We've got a whole of mud crabs, but I'm pretty sure they're all females. Look at them in there. Three of them, that one's really small. They're all females, so we'll have to get them out. There we go. One big muddy right there. It is a female though. You can tell by that massive oval shape right there. The males have just got a smaller triangular shape. Oh yeah, take a look at that. Big female mud crab. That's actually an awesome looking crab. I'll let it go in a second, but what this video is about is the other week I really wanted to catch a bull shark. Now, if you don't know, the best bait for bull sharks is freshwater eel. So first off, I had to catch one of them and I went fishing probably five or six times and I caught nothing. Eels are meant to be like the easiest fish to catch and I still hadn't caught anything. But pretty much what I decided to do is a solo mission out to Baroon Pocket Dam in Montville to try get one. So I'll roll you the clips right now. See you later, big girl. And there it is. That's Broom Pocket Dam down there. Hopefully I'll be able to catch an eel. I've tried so many times this week and it just hasn't worked, but hopefully this time will be a bit different. Look how cool that looks. Out the window there. So that is Baroon Pocket Dam. Now I've lived around this dam my whole life and it's been one of my favorite places. There isn't much water in it at the moment. Up here is where the spillway is and normally that's flowing all the way over, but as you can see, there's grass over there. It's pretty low, but hopefully there'll still be some fish in it. I reckon I'll go down there on the bank or something. So yeah, let's get the fishing rod down. Hopefully we can get one. So I just spent the last 20 minutes trekking it to this part of the dam and look how good it looks. I've got a little tower right there. There might be a couple fish hanging around it and it looks extremely deep. Now, the reason why I trekked it 20 minutes to this spot is because I believe that no one has fished here in ages. It's pretty hard to get to and hopefully that means that there'll be a heap of fish. Now, the bait that we use Using. some kangaroo if I was a big eel that's what I'd want to eat anyway so yeah we'll chuck it on get the line out and hopefully get something there we go just thread it through like that that is extremely deep that took like 20 seconds to sink to the bottom then all right so we've got the second piece of meat on the smaller rod now if I do hook a big eel on this rod I literally do not know how I'm gonna get it in but We'll try pull off a miracle if it happens, but we'll cast this one out as well. So we got double the chance of catching a big one. So I was waiting at the dam for like four hours and I started losing all hope. I was about to pack up and then all of a sudden something started showing interest in my bait. So I've just switched the GoPro on. I'm actually getting a run by something right now and I'm hoping that it's gonna be an eel. So I've been letting it run for a little bit and I'm gonna pick it up and hopefully hook it. Yep, I'm on. Let's go, baby. I've finally hooked something. It's got head shakes. I think this might be an eel. Yes. Come on. I'm really hoping that this is an eel right now. I literally have been waiting here all day for hours on end, and I'm pretty sure I've hooked an eel finally. If I can get this in, we've got a chance of catching a bull shark tonight. I'm about to see it right now. Yes, it's a big eel. It is a very big eel. Take a look at that right there. That is perfect size for shark bait. Now we just gotta land it. I gotta get it down to around this corner where it's a bit more flat and hope that it doesn't snap me off before then because these guys have extremely sharp teeth. Look at him right there. That is a good size shark bait. Come on. I've been working so hard for this eel. And that's exactly what they do. They shake their head like that and it shreds your line. Now, the reason why I'm trying to get him down here is because I feel that if I try to bring him up here, he'll just snap the line straight away. He's got extremely sharp teeth and it's a good sized eel and I don't have the heaviest line on. Oh, oh this is so messy. I just need to get this eel. Once he gets in the shallows, I'm going to flick him up onto the bank. Yes! Let's go, baby. I got him. And that right there is a big long finned eel. Perfect size for shark bait. 
oh, I was literally just thinking about leaving because I was like, I'm not gonna catch an eel. And then my rod went off. And take a look at that. Out of all the fish that is in this dam, I managed to catch an eel on the first one. That's actually so good. All right, now it's getting pretty late and I need to head down to Caloundra. That's where I'm gonna be going shark fishing later. So I'm gonna chuck this guy in the esky. I'm gonna put him out of his misery straight away so he doesn't suffer or anything. Oh, that is so good. Now hopefully, hopefully we catch a shark tonight. That'd be, that'd be crazy. All right, I'll see you guys later. Now, if you're wondering, I did end up going shark fishing later that exact night where I caught that eel. I chopped it up, used it as bait and everything. And I got a run from a monster bull shark and it snapped me off. So there's not much I could have done about it, but I will be going back there soon. But instead, a couple weeks earlier, I was fishing in Caloundra again and I hooked up to a massive fish. Now, I mean, this fish is like a fish of a lifetime. And what it was is I hooked onto it and I was fighting it for about 10 minutes or so. And there's someone standing over the other side on the bank, like over there or whatever. What happened was the fish jumped out of the water. And I've thought because juvenile bull sharks will sometimes jump out of the water to try and get the like hook out of their mouth. And I was like, it's probably a little bull shark. And then it jumped out of the water again and he yells out, mate, that's a barra. And I started panicking. I was freaking out. I was like, no way, that's a barra. That is too big to be a barra. Now, if you don't know what a barra is it is known as the barramundi now this is arguably australia's greatest sports fish and it's just crazy how big they grow the world record barramundi i believe was 135 centimeters and it was caught in modrum dam and that same fish had a girth like around it of 107 centimeters that's over a meter long and i got it in measured it and it turned out to be a 121 centimeter barramundi so if the record is 135 that's 14 centimeters off the world record people fish their whole lives to catch one over the meter mark literally fishing all the time for barramundi up north queensland and for my first wild barramundi to be 121 centimeters i'm never going to catch one bigger than that i'm just saying that right now i literally will never catch a barramundi bigger than that so we're just fishing down here at Kalanja for sharks and take a look at this. It's a 1.2 meter barramundi on the Sunshine Coast. It's just massive. It took so long, probably like half an hour to get in. At like least. 15 pound line. Take a look at that. That is actually huge. We're gonna get the hook out and release it straight away. But take a look at that. That's a fish of a lifetime. Literally, look at that. Such an impressive fish. All right, so, yep, she's ready to go. This is a 1.2 meter barramundi here in Caloundra. We're just gonna release it. We got the hook out straight away. I'm gonna swim it off, make sure it's all good. Done and done. And to say that the smallest barra that I've ever caught is 1.2 meters is pretty crazy. I've got a 100% metery success rate so far. But the other week, right, at the top of my property, I've been laying down these sheets of corrugated iron. And what that does is the snakes love it. When it gets wet like this, all the snakes will need to find shelter. So they go underneath it to hide from the weather and everything. And what I do is I just lift up the tin, take a look at them and put it straight back down and check out what I found. So we've got a couple sheets. We're gonna check them and hopefully there's some oil some snakes underneath them. You gotta be careful lifting them up though because you literally never know what's gonna be under that. Exactly why, that's why you be careful. So that right there is a small eyed snake and that one is pretty much full growing. Look at that, that is awesome. Now these are commonly mistaken for red belly black snakes. Here, chuck us the GoPro. We'll get right in there. Take a look at that. You can see how that would easily be mistaken for a red belly. But yeah, that's an awesome species of snake. And these guys are highly venomous and they come out at night feeding on frogs. Now here in Australia, it's illegal to handle these snakes. So I'm not gonna be able to catch this one today, but we'll let him back under the tin, check the others and who knows, there might even be some more under there. See you buddy. Tough. Tough. <laughs> Tough. Oh, another one. Look, there's another one. That's another small eyed snake. That one's a bit smaller. Here. Take a look at that. You can just literally lay down some sheets and those snakes will crawl up underneath it. There was a couple of future videos that are like project videos that I really want to work on and I'm really passionate about making. Now the first one is a primitive bull shark trap. You might have seen that video in that creek where there's hundreds of bull sharks that swim through it. Some parts it's like way steep and I reckon I would be able to make a primitive bull shark trap and catch a bull shark in it. I reckon that would be the most crazy video ever. Just literally think about it. So yeah, that's one of them. I want to go bull shark fishing as well. I got to last time but um that's all right 
I've been defeated a couple of times when it comes to shark fishing. Down here at the Gold Coast, I might um, try and get a line out there tonight or something. And then the other video is a 48 hour, or maybe even a 24 hour first, and then I'll go to the 48 survival challenge in the wild. I wanna stay up there, maybe go up into a rainforest in my creek, out on an island somewhere. And I reckon that'd be pretty crazy as well. But if you've got any more video ideas, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I post a heap of different stuff over there. All these videos that I'm making, I always post little snippets before they get uploaded onto my YouTube channel. So yeah, make sure you check it all out. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, down below turn on post notifications and yeah thank you very much for watching see you again in the next adventure